weekend's discussion and move it primarily from a focus on retail stores and
what I was struck with, and, and certainly happy when I finally got to the point of the epiphany, that our carbon footprint actually was not decreasing. And it seems pretty obvious now, but it was an, an interesting component to be, to move from a goal that is reduction to realizing, in fact, because of our shift in business strategies with cloud and the growth of our data centers, that our, we were not going to reduce our goals. So then looking at science, saying what was happening to the planet and the impacts of climate change, the really the only alternative was for us to offset, to reduce and then offset our emissions 100%, so net zero or, or carbon neutral. And so that was really the only option that, that we had. And, and so it was very important to go through with the leaders of the corporation and introduce this concept to them in the terms that I used originally and to say, why this is important to Microsoft for our business and introduce the concept of carbon neutrality in a way that they could understand. And, um, as I was talking to Kevin um, Desmond a little bit earlier before we started, it was then that I realized that I needed to also translate the concept of pollution or carbon, metric tons of carbon, into a metric that they could understand. So it was as if I had been speaking Spanish or Italian for a year and a half. And then suddenly when I started and I translated pollution into a financial metric, I was speaking English to these finance guys. And they could understand me and the conversation then just went into an incredible virtuous cycle. So um, if I have, uh, uh, let me step back for just a quick sec to set the foundation. So carbon neutrality, so we, I got approval from the CFO. When I started speaking in English to the CFO in finance terms of the CFO, we started to make progress and he understood the reasons why it was important to Microsoft to make a stronger commitment to carbon neutral or to sustainability through this carbon neutral policy. So it's a commitment that the company is making now through a, a corporate wide global policy. And it's a command and control type policy, and um, he understood that. And then what I did, and I'll get to in just a bit, was to add this incentive policy, which is a carbon neutral model, which is, is truly exciting. Um, so, in support of this, this carbon neutral commitment, it was these three pillars, is to be lean, to start by driving efficiencies, how can we consume less energy, how can we travel less, what can we do to reduce our waste, um, overall primarily driving costs down and be more efficient in our business. And then the second is to be green. What do we do then with the energy and the load that we are still consuming and how can we make that green? And so that's another set of work streams um, that we have. And then the third, which was incredibly important, especially by walking around the company for a year and a half and not speaking the language of the business and being incredibly frustrated by that and getting no response and, and having no accountability um, across the organization was to have a pillar listed with the name on it, which is we will be more accountable. And through that pillar, um, there are certainly additional components about uh, reporting on our emissions, but the critical one that I want to mention today is about the carbon fee model. And so what I did was proposed a model where we set a dollar figure to carbon that was where I, it went from, from English to real finance. And it went from, for us, rather than being a bonus, it was a, now a line item on a p and across all of the business groups. And that got the leaders' attention. Even, even, and, I, and that was the path I could make progress in. And I felt like if I could get to that line item on the p and that's incredibly impactful. So we put a price on carbon. Um, that price reflects at the time, and this is a process, so at the time this carbon price was proposed to them as the dollar figure that we would, a small fee that we would attach to the price of electricity. So it's not only the price that we pay the utility or who we're purchasing the energy from, but also the price the company has to pay to offset that pollution. And then similar with the air travel, not only the price we pay the airline for the airfare, but also the price we have to pay to offset the pollution associated with that air travel. And so that price reflected at the very beginning simply the price that we were going to pay for those offsets, whether it was renewable energy credits or carbon offsets. And that was something, part of this is a big education to the executives and the company on how, what is carbon reduction, how do we get there, how do we become more responsible and demonstrate environmental responsibility. So that's what, what I started with, which is four prices of the credits that we could basically invest in. And that was the first step. So then, um, I have a, a visual of the, um, the carbon thing, because sometimes that helps. So you set a price on carbon across the company, and, I, and for governance, I've got to 